Using um, technology developed at CSIRO, we've been able to show that we can identify unsafe IPS cells. That's important because IPS cells have a real potential for being used in drug discovery and for potentially being used in cell therapy to treat a range of human diseases and injuries. So the test shows that, that some IPS cell lines made using viruses actually are able to reform stem cells. Now this is a real danger in the, in, and we've shown that when we put these cells um, into animals that they are capable of forming tumours known as teratomas. So what this test shows is that these cell lines made using viruses are both unstable and unsafe for human use. One of the other reasons this study is important is because IPS technology is just starting to make the switch from a research to a, a potential clinical application. And as such, there are regulations that cover cell therapy in general, but there's no real safety tests available that are specific for um, IPS cells or in induced pluripotent stem cells. What we hope that the publication of this test will do is to show people that not all stem cells are safe. We need to be really careful when we're um, thinking about putting cells made from stem cells into people. Um, and there's also a large number of quasi-legal stem cell companies in multiple countries around the world that are using stem cells to treat people. People need to be very careful about that because our test shows that the easiest and simplest ways to make stem cells known as IPS cells is in fact quite dangerous for human health.